We're gonna take a quick moment to just talk about looking at lymph nodes. Arguably, you should always be looking for lymph nodes throughout all parts of your search pattern because they can pretty much be anywhere and they can hide most anywhere. Uh, sometimes though, in certain contexts, it can be useful at the, maybe at the end uh, to just scan through one more time and look for lymphadenopathy, um, especially if finding lymph nodes is very, very important to um, the clinical relevance of the scan. But again, th this may not necessarily have to be a distinct part of your search pattern. However, just wanted to, at the end of our search pattern, just talk about you know, some high yield places to look for lymph nodes. They can really be anywhere, but as you're looking through the scan, what you can do is you know, use your axials, maybe 2.5 millimeter medium slice thickness, put it on the abdomen or soft tissue window. You can have your coronals here just to kind of corroborate things that you're finding. And as you're scanning, you can start midline. You can look, you know, mediastinal structures here. In the mediastinum, we see some small lymph nodes that are coming out, you know, peritracheal like this one right here. Um, so that can be helpful as you scan through. But then also, you know, there can be perit you know, tracheal ones here, periesophageal ones. We just see little lymph nodes here in the mediastinum. That's all okay. But you can scan down through the mediastinum and just you know spend time just looking for structure that, that are going to pop here's periesophageal one that's going to pop in and out of view um, none of these are abnormally enlarged but that's what you're looking for and then as you get into the abdomen you know your field of view really opens up here there can be you know retroperitoneal nodes uh, like these little ones that we see popping in and out of view here um, there can be um, ones near the um, hepatitis as well too. So you just kind of can spend some time, dedicated time scanning back and forth, looking through the mediastinum and the abdomen. And we had talked about this on the soft tissue portion, but the internal mammary chains, uh, th this can be a very high yield place for lymph nodes. So you can spend some more time just looking at the internal mammary chains here. We have the internal mammary vessels um, here on the left, here on the right. So you can just spend some time just looking for those lymph nodes that are going to pop in and out of view. Um, similarly, obviously, the axilla can dedicate time looking at the axillary spaces. Um, here we see all these normal lymph nodes that pop in and out. Um, you can do the same thing on the left. Look at all these normal lymph nodes, all good. We can look at the soft tissues like the breast tissues. There can be lymph nodes that hide around there, uh, depending on how much breast tissue there is. It can be easy or hard to appreciate that. Um, but again, really, this can be anywhere. So maybe at the end of your uh, search pattern, especially if it's important, you can take a dedicated scan through just scanning back and forth, especially at some of these common places to find lymph nodes to just see if any pop out. Um, because sometimes, you know, let's say you're tracing vessels or solid organs, it can be hard to also keep an eye out for lymph nodes. So um, just worth thinking about maybe especially as you're early on making a dedicated part of your search pattern to look for lymph nodes especially when it's important uh, for the study uh, and why the study is being ordered.